The best part about Windows 11 is that it's available free of charge. Which means Windows 10 users will be able to update their devices without paying any upgrade fees to Microsoft. But free upgrade is eligible only for Windows 10 users that meet minimum hardware requirements. You can use PC Health Check app to see if your Windows 10 PC is eligible or not. If your PC is eligible to get free updates, watch on how to update Windows 10 to 11 without losing data and programs. The link is available on the top right of this screen. So if you are not Windows 10 users, or you want to clean install Windows 11, do we need product key? There no need to keep a genuine product key to install Windows 11. However, there are many drawbacks and limitations in using Windows 11 without a product key compared to the Windows running on a proper license. Once you install it on your PC, you can activate it using a genuine product key by purchasing from Microsoft or other authorized vendors when you are satisfied in one or two months. We suggest buy the product key if only your hardware meet the requirements. If it's not meet, don't buy the product key. If you want to clean install Windows 11 on your PC, watch on how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC. The link is on the top right of the screen. So, using the non-activated version of Windows 11 is safe or not? Microsoft made some internal changes to Windows activation. Customers can now use Windows 11 indefinitely without having to acquire a license key. Let's see the drawback of using Windows 11 without acquiring a proper license. First, no customization option. The latest versions of Windows 11 come with a dedicated section of personalization settings. It allows users to change and redesign Windows according to their preference. And it is one of the most useful for tech enthusiasts. The personalization option allows you to modify the accent color, taskbar position, taskbar color, start menu color, and transparency. This option is not available in the non-activated version of Windows, and if you try to tweak it further using third-party programs, you may run into numerous issues. This was one of the biggest drawbacks of non-activated Windows 11. Second, annoying notification to activate Windows 11. If you use the non-activated version of Windows 11, the system will keep on sending annoying notifications to activate Windows frequently. The notification will come in all the situations. Whether you are sharing the screen, watching the content, or reading some articles. It is too annoying in some scenarios while doing work. The message will pop up on your screen and say to activate the Windows 11. Third, active watermark. This is one of the biggest drawbacks of using an unactivated version of Windows 11. The system will always show you a pop-up text saying to activate Windows. It's not like a notification. It will be permanently stuck on your screen. No matter which application and which services you are using, the text will be popped up on your screen. It goes more annoying when the pop-up text comes in front when you're presenting to someone in the meeting or while sharing the screen. Fourth, activate message. If your copy of Windows 11 isn't activated, a similar activate Windows notification appears all the time in Windows settings. You'll see the same notification whether you're using Windows 11 or an older version. You'll be taken to the Windows Activation Panel. In Windows Settings after tapping the appropriate link. Just like pop-up text, this will be displayed in every screen record and screenshot you capture. 